Hi everyone for tonight's makeup and review. I'm having a water and I'll be reviewing Cleat Heat by Ellie Exton. This is a book I received as an ARC, but of course I'm giving my honest opinion. These are the tropes and these are the content warnings. I'm gonna say I love this book. It was so much fun and just what I needed at this moment in time. I gave it four stars and I finished it in a day. So I'm definitely excited to talk about it. But first, what's this book about? So this book is about Vivi, who is an athlete and professional cheerleader. Not something you see Omegas like her typically doing in her world, but she's not going to let that or a controlling alpha hole stop her from leading her team to nationals and bringing home the trophy. So when some professional football players infringe on her team's practice time and space, well, she's going to show them that this Omega is not going to be pushed around, even if her inner Omega is trembling at the thought of confronting these uh, alphas. But little does she know by confronting these alphas, it does trigger her heat, which leaves her wanting something more from these three alphas that she was not expecting. It leaves her desperate for they're not. So it definitely leads to some interesting and spicy moments. So what are my thoughts on this book? Again, I'm giving it four stars. I love this book. It was so fun. I was smiling throughout it. It was definitely what I needed at this moment in time. And I gave it four stars. If anything, I wish it had been a little bit longer, which I think is a great compliment when you wish an author would continue writing because there was so much more I felt like the author could expand it upon to make the story longer. I just didn't want the story to end. If it had kept going, I'm sure this book would have been a 4.5 or even higher, but it was still a great book. I gave it four stars and I loved it. I know this is the first in a standalone series. I don't know how many books are going to be in it yet. I'm kind of aware of two more and I really hope that those are longer than this one. But again, I really enjoyed the book for what it was and it was an enjoyable read and I am sure I will enjoy those as well. I'm really excited to read them. So with the characters, you first have Vivi, who I absolutely adore. She's equal parts soft and sweet, but also determined and sassy and willing to take on alphas in the name of standing up for herself and also protecting those she loves. Like she physically took on and attacked an alpha who was hurting her cat, something I typically don't see in Omegaverse books, which I really enjoyed. Then you have her three mates. And I'll be honest, I loved all her mates, but my favorite was Dash. He's the overprotective, intense one that I just, I loved him. All three three mates, however, were very concerned about making sure she felt loved, safe, secure, and put a strong emphasis on consent with her, especially considering some of the things that happened to her in the book. They were very concerned with making sure they always had her enthusiastic consent. At one time, one of her mates thought he didn't get the proper consent, even though she did give it. He didn't think he probably got it and he overstepped some bounds and he was just devastated by the idea. But she reassured him, no, I gave you consent. You're good. Now get back to what you were doing. So I just loved all the characters together. They're very much a sweet group, which again, this is why I didn't want the book to end. I just loved reading them and I didn't want the story to end. Now this book will be available July 1st. Definitely check it out. It's a fun, sweet, easy read that you're not going to regret. So I hope everyone has a good night and happy readings.